Hi guys, picked up a few goodies uh, over the past couple of days, so I thought I'd show them to you. So now here's Pearl Jam's 10 album. So the remaster released this year. The album looks the same as far as the cover goes. All the insides are the same, just a different color. You get extra pictures or, or new pictures from these set the 10 sessions that they took place back in 1991. You get two CDs here. Uh, the first CD, you get the remaster, the original mix of the album remastered, and then the second disc is the Ten Redux, in other words, the remix <coughs> and remastered edition of the album. You get all the original tracks plus six bonus tracks, which are demos and unreleased tracks. <coughs> you get, <coughs> sorry. You get Brother, Just a Girl, Breathe in a Scream, State of Love and Trust, that's a slow down version of the song, 2000 Mile Blues, and the funky little jam, Evil Little Goat. <sighs> no track listing on the back, that's kind of a downer. But, the cool thing is, if you just sit down, you get the full album. Oh yeah, that's freaking awesome. That's pretty cool. You don't get a poster with this. Um, as you can see inside here, there's two little slick deals here, slits here in the cardboard. You do get the CDs in a paper sleeve. I like that. These not rubbing against the cardboard and scratching the disc. But if that, those two little pieces of paper that each disc are in are a little flimsy, so they're not going to last forever. That's the bad thing. But you can't replace them. Uh, there's just a track listing on each piece slip of paper. I would pull them out, but I'm trying to preserve the CDs inside there until I put them in a case. Um, a lot of people on the forums that I frequent and uh, Amazon gave this, these rem uh, this remaster a lot of shit because they said, oh, Pearl Jam's just going to re-release these albums, their entire catalog again, and they're not going to do a good job of it. They're just trying to cash in again. That's not the case. They're trying to build their fan base. They're trying to give the consumer slash fan <coughs> a better product. Not to say that the old album or the original mixes Sorry, the original mix of the album sounds like crap because it doesn't. It sounds good for what it is, but uh, if I were a new fan and I had the choice to buy either one, I would buy this, this, the Redux, mainly because the album sounds much better. And I'll get to that here in a second. Well, <coughs> um, a lot of things have been brought up in the mix: the vocals, the drums, cymbals, guitar tracks are also very prominent in the mix. They sound very edgy, very um, it just sounds more alive. The whole CD sounds more alive, especially the drums. That's the one thing I noticed was the drums sound very, have this very live feeling. They, it grabs you and makes you want to do air drums, <laughs> you know. Um, the drums are very punchy. The whole album just has a big punch to it now. Whereas the original mix sounds more jam type, but, you know, jammy, kind of like, you know, like a jam. Um, it just it's good for what it is either mix is good either way you're gonna get something good out of it I mean you it's great ear candy um, the vocals uh, are very prominent you can hear things you didn't hear before more things are audible in the vocals you can understand them just a tad bit better not to say that they're under uh, they're hard to understand it's it's all around a great, great album to get if you are a Pearl Jam fan now there are two different, or three different releases of this album. There's vinyl, two editions on CD, which is the, oh, which is the Legacy, and the Deluxe Edition. The Deluxe Edition, I do not have that. Comes with these two CDs that come with this album, and a DVD of the unplugged album. Uh, I think it comes with the making of the album. That DVD, or the, they talk about the remastering of the album, how they went through the motions to do that, and a little bit of a background story on the album. <coughs> You also get, I think you get two extra live tracks that were done back in 1982 at Pupil Pop. Or how you say that. Unfortunately, they do, they do not come with the set. For some odd reason, they didn't put it on the set. They could have put it on, let's say, I don't know, the first CD that you could get here, which is the original mix of the album. I don't know why they did not include it. Unless they're hidden tracks, they didn't include them here. They might come on the DVD as audio, you know, DVD audio. I don't know. 
all I know is everything you get here is pretty much available in any other f another form, whether it be the demo tracks and unreleased tracks here come in bootleg form. The song "Brother" that's on the radio is uh, does now come with vocals. It's not just an instrumental, and all the demos sound much much better, fuller, and they no don't have any tape hits in them like the uh, bootlegs do. Or you know. so new fans, old fans, pick up this album. That's all I can really say about it. Um, either way, either, which either fan you are, new or old, you're still going to enjoy this album uh, in any of the release formats. You pick it up in vinyl, CD, or maybe even cassette if you still want to buy the old version of the cassette, the old uh, tin cassette that came out years ago. No, they didn't release this in cassette again, unfortunately. So yeah. Great album. Up next is the memory card adapter for the PS3. This is you can use this to s transfer your memory, PS2 memory card saves, onto your PS3 hard drive. I don't know if it works with PS1 cards. That's what I bought it for and for the PS2 cards, so I can back both memory cards up on my hard drive. I will figure that out, so no need to tell me. If you want to, go ahead. I'll probably already have figured it out by the time you tell me if this is compatible with the PS1 memory card. But I did pick this up at Target, a Super Target in my area. They're having some clearance deals on games, some older games, and gaming accessories and all kinds of great goodies. Did pick this up for 374. It was originally 14.99, so this is a great steal. I had to pick it up. You know, probably not going to use it very much. So it's worth the three dollars and seventy-eight cents. And it is an official PlayStation product. SOCOM U.S. Navy SEALs. I almost didn't buy this and the other adapter you saw here. I almost bought Fallout 3 instead with some of the tax money I got back. Um, this was originally $9.99. Got it for $6.98. Uh, this is, everybody knows what this game is about. It's, it's kind of like an army type game. You're a Navy, Navy SEAL. Fighting against crime, you know, terrorists. You're ambushing people in Thailand, in the Congo, in the Turkmenistan. Battle lethal enemies. You can battle enemies in single player and online mode. This is also compatible with the Logitech PS2 USB headset. Requires a memory card of 160 kilobytes, digital control, analog control, vibration <coughs> function. Sorry, pressure sensitive. <coughs> you can't. This is inter you can play this on the internet, of course. I don't think I'll be doing too much of that. I might try it out, but I have heard there are some problems with this game and playing it online. And this game did, did get some did get some bad flack. Sorry about this today, guys. I've been then uh, out at the hospital, having to look after my brother. See if he's okay. He's got his appendix out today, but uh, I'm not going to get too much into that. Um, just picked this up because it was cheap. I thought, hey, why not? You know, it's cheap. You get more to shoot more than 30 weapons here. I guess you get knives and stuff in here. I don't know. I've never, ever played any of these games. I think I saw, like, the first SOCOM game on the PC back in, oh, I don't know, 05, maybe? I don't know. I, I never, never really played it. Don't know what much to expect. I know it's a shooter. I don't know if it's, if it's an FPS or MMS or, I don't know what it is, you know. If it's a third-person shooter. It looks like a third-person shooter, shooter from from this angle on these pictures here. You get 12 different missions to do, and I'm running out of time, so I will actually review this game in full when I play it. No, there won't be any gameplay footage for quite some time on any of the games I own, so I'm sorry, guys. So, here's all the stuff I bought. Uh, wasn't much, trying to save some money until I get a job, and there'll be a flood of goodies to come then. So, thanks for watching, guys, and have a good one.